Doing great. Oh, tell us, uh, tell us about your favorite girls this year. <laughs> uh, we'll be young. We've got uh, only two players returning with varsity experience. Uh, Kelsey Thompson, Thompson and Kaya Fields. Uh, right now we have 14 in the program, and I don't know who's going to play JV or varsity yet. So. so where do you start? I mean, what do you hope to see when practice starts next week? Just get ready for the season. Get ready to hopefully get ready to win the area championship again. Kelsey one of the best players on your roster, not in the state of Alabama. Talk about how she makes the players around her better and her development as a player. Uh, she's, you know, grown up a lot last couple, of, you know, months. She's taken a leadership role. Uh, put her in charge of, like, you know, getting other players ready to play with her. How you feel? I had an opportunity to see her last season in the area finals against Theodore. She is a clutch player to be a size, you know, you know, you know, just talk about some of the things she's been doing in the preseason to get ready. Well, she uh, you know, it's not a secret now, but she's probably one of the best three point shooters in Mobile County. Uh, clutch games last year, Theodore games, she probably came down and hit three or four threes. Uh, from way out, so it's pretty much told her she's got the green light on the three. Uh, Kelsey's got the green light. I said, "Nails down, Kelsey. When she shoots, Kyle, you rebound. Kyle, when she shoots, you get the rebound. So it's very simple offense. But they're both going to put up threes this year. With all the transfers going to Theodore, and you know, she's been winning 18, 19 straight years. Here Looks like it's over with, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought from one year to now, you know, that Davidson is not the preseason favorite? Well, the, how, how has that challenged your team? The uh, theater was going to be good regardless if they had the two players move in. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to be Final Four good. That's, you know, that's the biggest difference. Uh, you know, you got to beat them in the regional tournament. You know, that's – that, that, basically, that's what you got to do. You can't worry about early season, mid season, area tournament. You know, it comes down to the, you know, regional. We got a Montgomery. How does that change going to Montgomery? How was that last season? I didn't like it because I lost. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dothan did a good job of hospitality. They did. They did a super job. There's nobody would go to Dothan. It's easier to go to Montgomery if you're from Mobile, but nobody wants to make the drive from Mobile to Dothan. And I've been pleading and begging that it should be at South Alabama. If somebody would step up and get it at South Alabama, the majority of your schools are from the South. You know, 1A through 7A. Uh, you know, I, I looked them up like when we went to Dothan, it's probably – I think it was like 82% of them are closer to Mobile than Dothan. And it's, uh, it would help Mobile's economy, hotel rooms, restaurants, things like that. And if you're a university, you want as many you know, high school kids on campus as you could possibly get. Has, has anybody ever considered trying to move it like to the convention center? I know they've hosted events inside the convention center area. They've, uh, they've talked about it, uh, but it's the state's about money, and they want somebody's got to come up with a plan that's going to make the state money and everybody else money. Uh, I had a parent stop me last year, and she proposed, oh, my bad, he proposed, why don't you do the regionals at Murphy? They got two gyms. <laughs> I didn't call, I said, it's not going to be at Murphy. But. Uh, <laughs> But like I say, South will be a great place. They have a better facility than most places that we go to. And it's, and it's kind of bad because it's an all-mobile region yeah. in 70. And I usually – You're going two hours up the road to we'll, play. We always go up there to play two mobile teams or one mobile team. You know, we're always going to play mobile teams. I like South because we, we've been successful there. Coach, uh, so knowing that some of the players you have this year – I know you got a couple of some young players on the team. Right. Uh, 
how have you been able to bring the younger players along? We'll find out Monday. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, told somebody I'm not doing tryouts this year. Uh, all I did was sign ups. Three kids came and signed up, so that's I did with my other three JV players. So we got six. So, <laughs> but it's I've told some of the freshmen, sophomores, you get 30 games. You may play five JV. You may play 25. I, I don't know. It depends on you know their work ethic. I've told them I'm not going. You know I'm not naming a varsity, varsity right now. I've got four kids I know going to be on varsity. The rest is who practice and it's about work ethic.